one of the other things I, I noticed um, was us talking about um, influence as opposed to um, seniority. I think it was paraphrased from what Claire said. Um, and I think you know, you've sort of drawn on that too in, in your last response, Rich, that you know, it isn't necessarily, I think we're often put off from applying for the chartership or fellowship or whatever, because we haven't had that team with that budget or we haven't had that uh, management role being given to us. I don't think that we necessarily have to. So, you know, where have you guys found the opportunities to demonstrate leadership or, or created those opportunities that others might be able to take some inspiration from? I think um, I was I was actually thinking in terms of the opposite. So I will answer your question. But we a big issue across that we are dealing with as academics is that our students are not going into a world of linear career routes anymore. So often they're not going into these companies with traditional management structures, even, you know, even the biggest companies, even JLR is moving to agile flat structures um, and hierarchies. So actually, we sometimes had the opposite problem when I was doing professional review interviews, which is that like graduates would be coming in, having held what seemed like quite senior responsibilities, because they're working in a startup where everybody's a manager, right? And then you've got to think, well, you've got to really kind of take a view of um, what is their level of kind of autonomy and authority and seniority here. Um, and I did always kind of, in those quite difficult decisions, bring it back to, well, what's the, you know, what's the outcome? <laughs> so you can be a manager or senior, or you can be um, kind of in one of those scenarios without necessarily having outcomes. <laughs> um, so, and I always think that the key difference is outcomes that impact people around you rather than just products, right? So that might be um, not necessarily true, but I think if if you're really just focused on on the products themselves and you're you've got loads of autonomy and loads of authority on that but you are not you haven't got a bunch of people around you who you're bringing along who you're influencing who you're kind of changing then maybe you, you're not leading in the same way um but I think it is a challenging thing that people are having to deal with going forwards and I don't know what Chloe and Rich think about that I'd written it down as a question no I I I agree. It's about it's about value add, isn't it? it? It's how are you demonstrating that you've gone in and, and made that that demonstrably better? 